Okay, and we are now at the final part. And uh, we're basically going to just look at all the mistakes that we made um, in the previous videos. Um, while I explain all of other things. Um, now, let me click on play just so you can see what I have here. Because I, I went ahead and um, did the other leg. So let me hit play and see what we have. All right. Uh, let me actually turn on loop and change this to frame 47 and play again. Okay, so I mean, obviously this is not perfect, right? But the character is turning around. Um, now, I didn't really follow the plan for the character, the turnaround for the um, the turnaround sheet that I had. Um, so yeah, I didn't really map out everything everything well before I went ahead and did this. Uh, but, but the whole point of this video was just to show you how to do a turnaround, right? And I think the techniques that I've um, I've used will be able to assist you to create something even better than this, right? Uh, so let me just point out there some of the faults. Uh, well, the nose here, the nose is moving at a different time from the rest of the face. We can definitely see that there. So that needs to be fixed. Um, and obviously the legs, which is horrible here. Um, one quick way to fix this, however, and that's because of how I created the legs, right? I didn't really even plan plan it out properly when it comes to um, turning around the character. But an easy way to fix this is to just create like different leg shapes um, and then just switch them out from from this pose to this pose, so you just you just put the different shapes between those two poses, so you get a, a much smoother transition of the leg rotating from there to there. Um, also, note that you know when it turns, this black part here it actually comes outside of the character, and that is not supposed to happen. And again, that's because I didn't really uh, plan that part. Um, before I went ahead and did it, right? So obviously that needs to be fixed, uh, but I'm not gonna do that in this video, right? Because I believe I've uh, already accomplished what I set out to accomplish, and that is to just show you guys how to do the turnaround. And uh, now there is something that I'm going to fix, however, and that is the hand coming from, coming behind the leg here. And to fix that, all we have to do is just to change the Z depth so let me turn on back animate because we already animated it. And let me search for the right arm and come to where it goes under. And I think I'm gonna change the negative three to a negative four, just to raise it up. Uh, one thing to think about is that, or one thing to note is that whenever you raise the, the shape, make sure that the bone is always above the shape. Okay, because you can raise the Z dip of the the um the layer above the bone, and you don't really want that, okay? Because you won't be able to see the bone. So make sure that the the shape layer is always below the bone. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna copy this over to here because this is at negative three. So I think the easiest way is just to delete this and just bring this move this over. So with that deleted, let me just move this over like so <clears throat> and I'm also going to change this one because this one this is supposed to be the same keyframe so I'm just going to duplicate this one over to here so delete that first and then right click duplicate and then there we have it the hand is now in front okay uh, one more thing is that the face sort of comes outside of the border here and that's because I have the border of the head underneath the face. So let me move that up. So it's now above the face. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. And as I said, the nose needs to be fixed and definitely the legs, right? But the whole point is that the character does rotate and it's also rigged. All right. So um, yeah, again, we accomplished that much. Right.
Uh, let me actually, let me turn off the legs while I rotate this. Uh, right leg, left leg. So that looks a bit better. Right. Um, so to get a much smoother transition uh, or a much smoother rotation, all you need to do is first make sure you plan well, plan um, what your character is going to, to look like from multiple angles. Also create multiple shapes because most of these I only have like two or three shapes. For example, with the hairs, right? If I wanted a much smoother transition, I, I, all I would need to do is just create that switch and make sure that I have all those different shapes within that switch and just switch them out as the character rotates right um and again the same thing for the legs that's what i'm going to do to fix the legs actually um again um and yeah i, I think this should help you guys to create your own uh turnarounds um now obviously whenever you're animating you i mean there's no reason why you'd want the character to turn around like this unless it's maybe Maybe the character is going to transform or something, All right? But so you would only need to rig it from the front, and then when you're animating now, you would um, take the steps to pose and alter the character as you see fit. Um, now, by no means this is the only way to rig. There are many other ways, or at least a few other ways to rig besides the way that I've shown you here. Um, so keep on experimenting until you you know find your own process. Uh, you can just use my tutorials as a guide. Um, and yeah, I think that is it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed the series. Uh, hope you will rewatch it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And um, I will see you in the next video. Yo.